it's 2 a.m. and you late night creeping on the way to your side chick house. And that fog is thicker than a cold bowl of oatmeal. You know what kind of fog that is? Here are the different types of fog you need to know about as a pilot. Let go! The first type of fog you want to be aware of is radiation fog. Radiation fog forms at night under calm winds. So whenever you walk outside and it's a nice, beautiful, cool night, calm winds, and you see some fog starting to form, more than likely that is radiation fog. Just think about how fog forms. Throughout the day, the temperatures are nice and warm, but then things start to cool off at night. And as things start to cool off, and particularly at the ground level, and as things start to get, that humidity starts to rise and it gets to 100%, Fault can possibly form as things are transitioning and changing, and that's where you get that radiation fog. The very key here you want to remember about radiation fog at that ground level, it can be anywhere from three feet to about a thousand feet on that ground level, and it kind of just stays stationary. It doesn't really move. You look outside or you're driving in this kind of fog, it's just kind of just staying in one place. That's one of the distinct characteristics of radiation fog. Hey, next up on the list, of course, is avection fog, and it's very similar to radiation fog. You know, same type of thing is happening with that warm air and that moisture mixing in with that cool air and causing it to fall. Distinct characteristics, how you can tell the difference, has some movement to it. And the movement is usually caused by wind. So you may see it ha happening more of a kind of a horizontal kind of pattern. That movement of moving across the plane, moving across the ground is caused by the wind. So if you want to make the distinct characteristics, if you're looking outside and thinking to yourself, okay, it's really foggy out here, but the fog seems more stationary and it's staying in place. That's more than likely radiation fog. If you whip in the whip and you're thinking to yourself, this fog is kind of moving slowly across the ground, that's more than likely a vection fog. It's particularly if you stick your hand out of the window and you feel a little bit of wind happening right there, then you know for certain. Because a vection fog needs wind. Radiation fog, it kind of dissipates and gets rid of the fog if the wind comes in any type of radiation situation. So that's how you can make that distinct characteristics. What are the winds doing when it's foggy? And you can make that determination between being a vection fog or radiation fog. Next up is upslope fog. And just like the name upslope, just think about going up the slopes. If you're a snowboarder, if you're a skier, you're doing your thing in the great outdoors, just remember, of course, in those mountainous kind of areas, how you can always see kind of a cloud of fog sitting on top of a mountaintop. Or it's like as you're going up, if you've ever been on an early morning hike, and you kind of see that fog just sitting there, more than likely that's upslope fog. Think about how that fog even got into that position because of the wind. The wind has pushed that fog up that mountain or up that hill, wherever it's stationary, and it's kind of just hovering over its place. That condensation is kind of causing it to happen and sit there. That is upslope fog, and you need to be aware of that, particularly if you're flying and dipping that thing in mountainous areas. Hey. Next up on the list is steam fog. Just think about the terms here. It's kind of telling you, giving you clues as to what it is. Steam fog. It's just think about a pot of water on the stove, steaming. That's what it's gonna look like. And what it usually happens is it happens over a body of water, a body of warm water when that cold air comes over that warm water. So think about that. If you're in any type of situation where you got a warm body of water and that cold air comes over the top, it's gonna to cause some fog. It's gonna look like little smoke misting off the water. That is steam fog. That is the steam fog you wanna be aware of, particularly if you fly in any kind of area where there may be uh, that kind of situation where you're close to that body of water, which is a nice warm body of water, and when those temperatures change, those type of things can happen. This is next up on the list, steam fog. Ay. The next type of fog you wanna be aware of is precipitation fog. It's easy to remember a lot of the terms and nomenclature in aviation because a lot of it, again, you're gonna have a checklist, an acronym, or the term itself is gonna kinda of give you clues as to where it may formulate and where it may come from. No exception here, precipitation fog. It happens when it is raining. Just think about that nice warm rain. You ever walked outside and it was raining, when the rain was kinda of warm and it was hitting that cool ground, or maybe at night started to hit that cool ground and then fog started to form, either right then or maybe a few hours later, a few minutes later, that, that give you a clue of what precipitation fog can look like. And that's one of the situations and how it can form at night or even in the daytime if it just happens to be raining at that particular time. And last but not least, one of the types of fog you wanna remember is ice fog. And all ice fog is, is any one of the types of fog we've already mentioned, radiation fog, avection fog, all of that stuff that we've already mentioned, but it's happening in freezing temperatures. When it happens in freezing temperatures, of course it becomes ice fog or known by that nomenclature. Those are just simply the types of fog you wanna be familiar with 
when you late night creeping that thing and slipping and dipping through the fog, baby. Hey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Link to all the flyest merch in the description. One time, subscribe to this channel. Lego.